Hi everyone. So this is a very quick video to talk through, is there a pause before the quote? So this is the first of three lessons that's gonna help you distinguish between dialogue quotes and flow quotes. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is, is there a pause? There's a basic rule to remember. So there is a pause if you have extra, a comma and capitalization, all right? It kind of breaks up the sentence as if it were spoken. So there would be a pause. There's not a pause if you don't have an extra comma and you don't have capitalization. It all kind of flow, flows together. So I have two example sentences here. The first one says, Kendra Kumar thinks no one appreciates I'm a master at Monopoly. So in this case, we have a comma after thinks, and we also have a capital letter at the start of the quote. So because we have the comma and the capital letter, I would say, yes, there's a pause there, right? There's a pause before we get into the quote. So that's what we're gonna call a dialogue quote in the next topic. But for now, you just have to say, is there a pause or not? There's a comma and a capitalization, so there is a pause. In our other sentence, it's the same idea, but it's formatted a little bit different. So Kenja Kumar claims to be a master at Monopoly, among other games. So you'll notice here that there's no comma and there's no capitalization. It all kind of flows together as one sentence. Kenja Kumar claims to be, quote, a master at Monopoly. So there's not a pause. This is what we'd call a flow quote because it all flows together. So on topic two, that will be a flow quote. For now, you just have to know, do I pause or not? Okay, so let's look at the practice. So remember that when you click the circle, you can always click lesson, which will go through some lessons that no Red Ink put together for you um, and that always serve as good examples. Let's do a few practice questions. After I finished telling ghost stories around the campfire, George R. R. Martin said that the one about the skeleton was too scary to be true. So in this case, I don't have a comma and I don't have a capital letter. So I know that this all flows together and I'm not going to pause. After I finished telling ghost stories around the campfire, Mark Twain said, oh, this is the same, same sentence, but same rule, no comma, no capital letter, so that means that there's no pause. Showing, Nick, showing Nicki Minaj around the house, the real estate agent remarked, I shouldn't tell you this, but the attic is haunted. All right, so this is the opposite. We have a comma, we have a capital letter. I mean, I will always be a capital letter, but still a good thing to look for, a capital letter to start. So that means that because we have the comma here and the capital letter, that there is a pause. I informed the tour guide that Unless Ernest Hemingway can ride a camel, he won't go on the desert safari. So same rule applies. I'm looking for a comma and a capital letter. I don't have a comma. I don't have a capital letter. So I don't have a pause. Last one, kicking out the window, Lord reported, comma quote, there must be at least four feet of snow outside. So we do have a comma. We do have a capital letter. So that means we do have a pause. Something else to look for are words like this that are kind of like he said, she said, they said words. Um, so words like thought, you know, said, state, reflected, yelled, cried, reported, right? Words like that that could be used to show how somebody is speaking. Um, that can also help you see sometimes whether it's going to be a dialogue quote. More importantly, though, is there a comma? Is there capitalization? All right, so those are the basic rules for topic one. Then you're gonna use those rules and apply them to topic two. Remember that if you get stuck, you should definitely ask your teacher for help. Don't just click there and guess um, because that won't, that won't help anyone. All right, thanks everyone.